purpose. What? You want a new friend? Huh. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? somebody where you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs act of resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. The problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Prima Donna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. 
Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Dexter, talk to Dex. Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Hang on, gotta go. Back to our chat. Hey. Then there's the you other me, thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex going? You ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Morale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego.
しいぜひが欲しいしならこよいは見られるのでおでやらなら
How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese lived there mostly. North side used to be plated in chrome, now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough? That's Watson. I need to check one guy. Maybe, excuse me, just a sec. Okay, I'm back. Talk. I need to check one guy. Maybe you know something. Mm-hmm. And who? Simon Randall, also known as Royce. Maelstrom. Little birds say a certain Dex has taken an interest in him. You checking to see if I'll tell you the same thing as another fixer? Clever, but not too wise. Used to be a media, didn't you? Not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, V. I just traded in for a larger caliber. How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? We'll come back to this. Hola. It's hopeless. The whole world is fucked.
You want something? Don't touch me. Yolta. 